Hey guys, Maddie Finn's back again with another subscription box. And today you can see that it is none other than the Japan Crate. This subscription box is full of uh, Japanese snacks, foods, candies, and even drinks straight from Japan to your door. I've always had an interest in uh, Japanese culture and uh, going to Japan. It seems like a really fun and interesting place for sure. The only thing that kind of stops me is having like, you know, I can't speak the language. It's, a, it's definitely a language barrier for me. I would need some sort of translator, which I'm sure you can get, but you know, it's kind of expensive to go to Japan in the first place and then you need a translator on top of that. So. But yeah, it seems like a really cool place, and this is the closest I've come so far in my life. And I'm super, super excited about it. Now, the Japan Crate comes in three configurations. There's a crate that comes with, uh, I believe, five items for $12, 10 items for uh, $25, and 15 items plus a drink for $30. Now, that's what this is here. Yeah, this is the premium one. So, yeah, just go to the website. I'll put uh, the link in the description below so you guys can check that out. You can uh, find them on all the social uh, networks there. You got Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, and YouTube. Uh, at Japan Crate. Hashtag Japan Crate. So, let's open this bad boy. Ooh, it's kind of a mystery. It's all kind of wrapped in tissue paper there. Here's the Japan Crate Magazine, Volume 16, October 2016. This is really good quality printing. Like it's, I think it might be the paper it's printed on. It looks kind of almost translucent. Tra looks almost translucent. Looks almost translucent. <laughs> Why can't I say that? <laughs> looks almost translucent. There's like some sort of depth to the color. Interesting fact here, if you go to Japan, you're bound to end up with a lot of coins as anything 500 yen and under comes as a coin. Now let's tear into this tissue paper and oh my god. Let me just take a picture of this for Twitter real quick. Follow me on Twitter. Twitter.com slash Matt Finley. At Matt Finley on Twitter. Alright, now what's in here? Let's see. What is this? This is some sort of zombie thing? Now the fun thing about this is, obviously I can't read Japanese, so like, I don't know what this is. It looks like stickers or something's in here. But yeah, that's what I've noticed about Japan. They have like really cool packaging on like everything, like the simplest things. This is like, this is a sticker pack and it's got super vibrant, colorful packaging that's like really nice to touch on. I don't know how to explain it, it's cool. Okay, I think I get it. You make your your own little zombie face with stickers, it looks like. Let's see. Here's my background, this little skeleton dude. And I guess you can get zombies and like that too. What is this? What the f is this? <laughs> this is so awesome! Oh my god, dude. Uh, like, because I don't know what any of this is. Like, what is this? It's like... Uh, is it like adhesive or something? I don't know what this is. What is this? Ooh. That's like candy or something. It looks like an adhesive 3M square. Look at it. Like what the hell? It smells good though. Should I eat it? Should I eat this? I don't know. Oh yeah. What is that? See that's not like adhesive. It's like gum I think. What flavor is that? Hmm. Well, I guess just stick it in, I guess, you know? Yeah, that's gum. Oh! That is sweet. That is really good. And that does not surprise me that Japan has fantastic... This is like the best gum I've ever had in my life. I'm not even joking. Oh, I'm gonna enjoy this for a minute. Unfortunately, before I could figure out what the flavor was, it's already gone, so... I want to say it's like a grape flavor, which is like my favorite flavor in the world. Maybe I'll put some footage in there of my finished little zombie character for you. What's next? I guess, because this is Halloween themed, it is the October uh, Japan crate. This has like, like wounds that you can put on your face or something? It says horror tattoo sticker and gum. Well this one says the flavor is banana, so let's try it I guess. Oh these are probably tattoos. 
Not stickers. Oh, tattoo sticker. Okay, we're a little confused here. Ooh. I think banana is a very underrated flavor in candies and snacks. So let's see. Oh yeah. Mhm. Mm but yeah, here are the here are the little tattoos you can put on your face. I got like a sewing needle that can go through your skin or a spider web. All right, let's grab something else out of here. This is screaming at me. It's a little puppy. If I had to guess, it's probably like chocolate or something. Maybe I don't know. There's a little puppy dog on there. What is this? Ooh, look what's inside. I got a, a, a Labrador Retriever. Is that what that is? I think so. I got a Lassie dog in mine. But oh, that's, that's gotta be chocolate, right? What the heck? Oh, it says it's a sheep dog. A Shetland sheep dog. Interesting. Why is there, there's like a black thought bubble of, uh, uh, above the, <laughs> above the dog. Like, is that what it thinks? At just pitch blackness? Do you scratch this off or something? I don't get it. This is confusing me and it's awesome. So let's try this chocolate. I presume it's chocolate. Ooh, it's got like crunchy nougat things or something in it. See the little, whatever those things are, like Rice Krispies almost in there. It's chocolate, all right. Is this one of those, yeah, this is one of those do-it-yourself kits. And it looks like you can make an, like a fake ice cream cone that you can eat. It's kind of like candy. But you make it look like ice cream. I'm actually not sure if I'm going to do this in this video. Just because this video is going to be super long as it is. Maybe I'll uh, do this in a separate video, though. We got this little... They look like jelly beans. Sort of. It's not giving off any taste here. Yeah, definitely not giving off a taste. But let's just try it anyway. Oh! This is hard! I almost broke my tooth! There's like no flavor! It's just sugary, kind of. Kind of. I almost broke my tooth, dude. I assumed it would be soft. I'm gonna resort to this guide here. Let's see what it is. What these are, it says, having a healthy stomach is important so you can eat more snacks. This unique candy has probiotic bacteria to promote good digestion and comes in a soothing yogurt flavor. I wouldn't call that yogurt flavor. It's not a bad flavor. It just almost broke my tooth. Do not bite on these because they will break your tooth. The little dog stuff says it's Oshibiri Wan Ko, which means chatty dog. Each chocolate bar comes with a cute card featuring an adorable puppy. Each puppy has a message to tell you, so if you rub the black bubble, words will appear. Ooh, we gotta do that then. Ooh, interesting. That is a clever idea. So I think it's a pretty good idea to keep this around, just so I know what I'm eating. It says potato chips on here. Let's see, potato chips Shio flavor. This kind of scares me, I don't know. Candy's one thing, but I'm kind of picky about foods. Shio flavor, huh? This is like potato chips. What else do we got? We got something else similar. Potiko umashi flavor. Umashi flavor means lightly salted. So probably another plain potato chip variation. Kind of like a Funyun or something maybe. All these snacks are kind of funny because in America we just make whatever shape it comes out as. Look how almost like perfect, like perfect rings these are. It kind of reminds me of, um, I don't know if you you guys have ever tried them, but they're potato sticks. They're just like potato chips, but they're kind of thicker and they're like super thin and like stick form. That's kind of what these taste like, but they're like rings. They're okay. Not my favorite. Oh my God. This scares me. Kind of looks like dried fruit though. That would be ideal. Oh, it has like an Americanized nutrition fact sticker on here and it says beef jerky flavor. I don't like beef jerky. We gotta try it though. So it's jerky, but it's made of soybeans. So it's like soy, it's like vegetarian jerky, which I might get my wife to try because she is a vegetarian. 
I'm not gonna like this though. I can already tell you. <coughs> oh, I don't want to try this. This smells like rubber. I wouldn't recommend this at all. Oh, this is so bad. This is not good. Mm -mm. Oh my god. <laughs> Do not recommend the vegetarian beef jerky to anyone. I really. I am just taken to another place with this packaging. It's a happy place. Part of the name of this candy is Be, which is the sound you make when you stick your tongue out. It will dye your tongue either a bright blue or a bright green. Give it a shot. Open up and say, Be. Now the problem with this is, you can clearly see which color it's going to dye your tongue. No real guess in there, but let's see how much it dyes our tongue here. I'm going to do half of it. So here's the green one, I assume. Good flavor. Is it good? I'm gonna save the blue one for at the end of the video, just for funsies. This is called Nama Cream Pie. If you love the buttery and flaky crust of pie, you're gonna love these petite palmier cookies. Palmier? Palmier? Made with fresh cream, these cookies will be a nice change from the candy this month. They also come in cute heart shapes. They sure do. They're like individually packaged in here. Ooh, that's the most delicate little thing, isn't it? Yeah. I can see how this is kind of like a pie crust. That's very good. Oh, It's a little cell phone charm locket thingy. This is our bonus item, apparently. Hawk-chan is known in Japan for her cute, squishy cheeks. It's like a little dollop of something or another. Like a little cell phone charm. Isn't that just the cutest little thing? Where you put it on your keychain, you can put it anywhere. We got these rings, which I assume are chocolate because it's, it's brown. Five yen in Japanese culture is more than just currency. So yeah, this is like little chocolate coins. Again, individually packaged, much appreciated. And I assume this will just taste like chocolate. Probably really cheap, bad chocolate. Yep. Looks like three items left. We got some Pocky Sticks, which I've had before, so let's try these. Obviously strawberry flavored and Halloween themed. I don't know if I've ever had strawberry Pocky Sticks. And for those who don't know, Pocky Sticks are these like sweet crackers dipped in even sweeter toppings. Now that's yogurt flavor. Those are really good. Here we have something similar to Pocky Sticks. It looks like they've been crushed to death, but that's okay. Sweet potatoes. Uh-oh. I, I do not like sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes are a popular fall and winter flavor in Japan. But have you heard of Murasaki Emo? These purple sweet potatoes offer a creamier and sweeter flavor than regular sweet potatoes. Uh-oh. I, I don't like sweet potato. These are the best thing in the box. Sweet potato? Really? I do not like sweet potato. Those are fantastic. Looks like we've come to the last item in the box. Something in my eye. And it's the drink. That's right. This is the only crate that you get out of the three that comes with a drink. And it looks like I've lucked out because this looks like an orange. Something in my eye. This looks like an orange flavored drink. So let's see. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Sangaria Sabumi Orange Drink. Take a break from soda and enjoy this orange drink with real orange pulp. The pulp adds a burst to flavor each time you taste it. <laughs> I bet it does. Add a couple of drops of food coloring. Why? And turn this drink into a pulpy witch's brew for Halloween treat. So orange drink that's not soda with pulp sounds like orange juice to me. Oh my. Ooh. That is gross looking. It smells delicious though. Now I can already tell by smelling this that this is not gonna taste at all like soda. Bottoms up, eh? That tastes kind of like a, like a discount free orange juice. <laughs> it's not that bad though. This kind of tastes like 
the little mandarin orange snack packs you can get like for your lunch or whatever. That's pretty much all there is uh, to the Japan Crate for October 2016. Uh, I appreciate you guys watching. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up down below. I'd really appreciate it. It helps me out a lot. If you could follow me on Twitter, uh, twitter.com slash Matt Finley, you can find a picture of uh, this Japan Crate. If you're interested in checking out Japan Crate, I'll be sure to put the link down in the description as well. Definitely recommend this. This was a lot of fun. So hopefully my tongue is blue and uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video. See you later guys. Something in my eye.